a quick look at the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam shows another magnificent evening, and I have another magnificent weather kid to introduce you to, thanks to our friends at Shields. Get over to your Shields and sign up today. Baby, we'll have you and your kid on for another program. Joining me today is Mason Helt. Mason comes all the way from Grand Forks. That's a long bicycle ride, Mason. Tell me a little bit about what school you go to. Lewis and Clark. And how old are you? Nine. Nine. Okay, so you're about in third grade then? Yes. And do you have a favorite subject at school? Reading. Reading. All right, well, let's start reading some information about the weather to everyone at home. Step over here with me. And right now in Fargo, what do you notice about that temperature? Why don't you look over here and point that out back at the weather wall? 66. Okay, and our winds out there pretty strong. How fast are they gusting to? 66 miles per hour. Okay, well, 22, that's right. 66 is our temperature up here. And when we look at the sky cam, does it look cloudy or does it look sunny to you? Sunny. A lot of sunshine out there. Here's a photo. Take a look at that. Beautiful. But when we turn it the right side up, you can see we were just looking at the reflections off the Red River. And that's in East Grand Forks and Grand Forks this morning. Speaking of Grand Forks, point out the temperature right now that everyone has up there. 68. Very good. Our winds from the southeast, how fast are they blowing? 60 miles per hour. Excellent work, young man. Now let's talk about the temperatures. Now, can you tell everyone at home what we were talking about? What does the green mean versus the yellow? The green means that it is okay weather. The yellow means that it is getting warmer. Good. So we have warmer temperatures where it's yellow. And point out the temperature in Grand Forks and then Valley City. And tell me which place is warmer. Grand, Grand Forks is warmer. Warmer. Very good. They're at 68, Valley City 57. Let's sneak over here and look into Minnesota. Tell everybody what they have going on right now in Detroit Lakes. Point out that temperature. Can you do that with me? Yep. Come on over this way. Your arms aren't that long, so go ahead and reach it over there. What's their temperature in Detroit Lakes? 63. Nice work. Step back over here with me, Mason, and tell me what this white stuff is out here. The white is the clouds. Good. We have clouds in Fargo and Grand Forks, or does it look more sunny? It looks more sunny. Very good. So we've enjoyed a lot of sunshine, and here's a place where they don't have so much sunshine, Oklahoma City. What's going on in Oklahoma City with all this green stuff? Much and much and much rain. Much rain heading their way. In fact, a few strong thunderstorms as well. Sneak over here with me, Mason. Let's talk about the forecast for tonight. This evening, south wind continues, and it increases a bit. We'll have a few gusts out there, but temperatures by 10 o'clock will still be generally in the 40s and 50s. Now, as we go through the overnight, what's all that white stuff that moves in? Clouds. Okay, a few sprinkles are showing up on here, but it doesn't look like rain for everybody. Not a big deal. We start out cloudy and temperatures in the 40s, rising into the 50s and 60s during the day. In the afternoon, Tell us the Grand Forks temperature that we'll have tomorrow. 65. Very good. A lot of 60 to near 70 degree readings. Here's a line of showers and thunder showers that will move through the region tomorrow night. So there might be a chance of that. But for the morning bus stop weather, for all of you kids in Grand Forks, what will the temperature be? 44. Very good. We'll give that a B. It'll be breezy tomorrow. How about lunchtime recess? It will be 58. 58. And what do you think about the weather? A few cloudy, a few clouds, it's kind Good. of dusty. Yeah, and then how about after school? 67. 67 with some night rain or thunder, a possibility. All in all, most of the day looking pretty good. Thunder coming from the west. A lot of 60s in the afternoon hours when we look across Minnesota. Temperatures there in the upper 50s to low 60s for another fair day, but a little breezier than today. Here's another shot of fog and haze captured in Glendon by Candy. Here's your planning forecast as we go through the next seven days. Why don't you, Mason, tell me everything you see here about Saturday? Saturday is going to be a great day. It is going to be 67. Very good. Now, how about when we look into Easter Sunday, what does it look like there? Warmer or colder? Breezy with, 40, with 55. Very good. So that'll be cooler. It'll be a little windy out there for your sunrise services or your Easter egg hunts. Now, the cooler weather sticks with us through next week. Some could see a snowflake or two between Monday and Tuesday as our morning temperatures will be below freezing in spots, but generally we'll be in the 50s. And Mason, why don't you step back and tell me which day looks like the nicest next week to you? I would say, I would say that Monday looks... Right. Okay. 
Monday looks the best. The first half of the day pretty good. Then we cool off with hit and miss sprinkles and showers throughout the week. Mason, follow me over here, young man. You did a wonderful job over there. And I got to ask you, are you a, a fan of this warmer weather we're having today? Or are you more of a fan of the cooler stuff that we'll be having by the middle of next week? I like the cooler weather. Wow. Oh, Not I... everyone says that, but we do have a lot of us around here in the Northern Plains that do enjoy the cool. Yes, we do. Mason, you did awesome. Great work today. High five. Good, Good work, job. bud. All right, coming up next, this bet is being recalled. The reason is, well, shocking. Stay with us.